Sometimes I'll be doing something in a game dev talk or demonstration, and the people watching will stop and stare at me like I just performed some sort of magic. Well, here is an instance of such an occasion with a neat little trick around default values in Unity. You see, when you create a scriptable object or mono behavior and you add a serialized object field, did you know you can set the default object? Let me show you how. So here I have a game object serialized field. When the compiler is finished, if I select the script, you'll see in the inspector, the field is available to set. Yeah, that's an entry to set a default game object for this field on this script. So let's see it with our little friend here from Protofactor, link in the description. Now, when I add the component to a game object in the scene, the field is auto filled and ready to spawn when we play. Kind of handy, right? Now, if that just blew your mind, let's go a step further because we always like to push things too far. You see, the default entry isn't actually affected if we set the field to hide in the inspector. So in the component on the game object, the field now isn't visible, obviously, but it still is when we select the script. So let's see our new little friend here and see it spawned instead. You can imagine this is quite useful when you start thinking about system assignable fields, ones you don't want your artists or designers to accidentally change because they know best. And if that's not worth a like, well, then the little guy gets it. 